pandemic. Well, guys, it seems the pus dripping bubonic boil on the ring piece of humanity, Sadiq Khan, has now accidentally admitted his ULEZ anti-car crap has nothing to do with clean air and everything to do with tracking, tracing and charging drivers in London. With the final goal being paper mile schemes that will price all but the rich off the road. Now, come on. Let me feel the fibre of your fabric. This is no conspiracy theory because the Ponce is leading the C40 City's crap that openly calls for these anti-car measures alongside banning meat, no holidays for the peasants and limited heating for your homes. Shit, they want us all to live in mud huts like this is the African bush or something, but that's a whole other load of bollocks we'll deal with another time. Today we're going to talk about this report here, or should we say what this report tells me without it actually saying it. Here you see the headline, Sadiq Khan deploys ULEZ vans after vigilante attacks cameras. Transport for London uses 20 vehicles across the newly expanded zone to fill gaps where static devices are lacking. So to cut pollution by cars, Sadiq Khan is sending out yet more cars. Like the dumbest motherfucker that ever lived. Yeah, someone make that make sense because the Orwellian doublethink is really beyond me. Obviously, we know it's got sweet fuck all to do with pollution and everything to do with this corrupt puppet following his paymaster's orders, you know, like the good little bitch that he is. Well, that and money, of course, because when you hear this statement from TFL talking about these vans, it can literally only be that. It states the vehicles are linked to mobile communications so they can be quickly deployed to areas where TFL intelligence highlights that a high number of non-compliant cars are recorded. So they can be quickly deployed to where intelligence highlights a large number of fines can be given out to motorists. Wankers! Wankers! Obviously, this snivelling shit weasel's doing everything in his power to track, record and charge as many Londoners as possible with these vans, which he might actually need more of because people keep destroying the stupid cameras he puts up. Now, obviously, I'm no fan of destroying public property since the public pays for it, but considering people across the country are against this scheme, I can't condemn what they do, you know, since the public support it. At the end of the day, if Khan didn't want these cameras to get destroyed, he shouldn't have wasted money going against the public's wishes when he bloody installed them. Khan, like the rest of these low-life fuckpigs, needs to remember they're meant to run the country for us, not dictate to us what goes on with our bloody lives. One day, the public might remind them of that and I'm not sure these corrupt weasels are actually gonna like it. All we need is a few black hats and people getting hungry for a while for the public to turn on them so they're never far from a shitstorm. You're on thin fucking ice, my pedigree chums, and I shall be under it when it breaks. Thankfully, though, I expect this you less crap will be the end of Sadiq Khan as London Mayor because enough people ate it that it should sink him and sink him for good. Remember last time he won with less than 25% of all votes in London as 58% of Londoners didn't even bother voting, so losing a big chunk to you less should see him humiliated at the next election. I like it! Pandemic. Where are